my family, asshole! You can't have them! We need the vet! No! Cat! Lee, come on! Just go. I won't be far behind. Ah, you see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me! It's how the world works now! Give part of yourself, so others can live! Mark never volunteered to be food! You gotta keep me alive! If you kill me, the meat gets tainted! You can't eat it! You're already tainted! You ain't gonna kill me! I'll keep Clementine safe. since we were coming up to the house. We need your help. Yeah, when you guys didn't come back, I figured something was up. What can we do? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. No, no, please, no, no, no! Get shut up, and you'll be fine. I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Set him down. I don't want to hurt y'all. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Yeah, it's me.
Think about what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. any worse. Get up! 
get the fuck up! <laughs> you ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dan and Mama get out here, you, you're all fucked! <laughs> They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Here and fight me like a man, Lee. Lee. Hey Lee, I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just... ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She's not stupid, Carly. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. Uh, how are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready to roll. I want you to come with us. I mean it. 
Okay. Yeah. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I'm sorry you had to see that, but I only did it to protect us. Because they tried to hurt us? Yes. Okay. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Don't shoot! We're here to help! Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. But what if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. We've done enough damage already. What do you mean by that? Come on, Kenny. Between this and the meat locker, you know what it means. Fine. Suit yourself. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Okay. What have we got in here? Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. Here. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. She's good. Thanks. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Shit. Sorry, honey, I don't have time. That was my favorite hat. 
I promise. If I find it, You're I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there, acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Looks like this is our lucky day. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Let's just get inside. Where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah. We've been talking about it, but you made up your mind yet? We should stay, Kenny. We've made an alright go of it so far. Lee, you know that's bullshit. Those folks in the woods keep giving us hell. It's only a matter of time. We should get in the RV and get to the ocean. I need you with me on this, pal. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Blocked by all the fallen concrete. So much for the military. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. Completely flat. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? She'll be fine. You really think so? I don't know, man. I've been thinking, and huh, I just don't know. Huh. 
girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I haven't asked. Just gonna let it stew, huh? Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. You said you could handle it. God, you ever been shot before? I'm sorry. Christ, you think you? Should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Much time now.
go, pal. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! This piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. This place is fine, Kenny. Oh, sure, it's fine right this second, but this ain't sustainable, and you know it. It's gonna be hard for me with you two. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily Kinney's got some legit points here. I'm so tired of it being you two worse than Damn it. I'm not on anyone's side, Lily. These decisions affect everyone. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? What is happening? We got what we needed. It was just something that had to happen. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! She's right, you know. Shit's just getting worse by the day. Hey, man. She's not helping, is she? Uh, no, Kenny. She's been through so much. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. <sighs> Things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute.
Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh. I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. But we need them. There's no doubt about that. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'll talk to you later. Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was... I've been thinking a lot about you. I think about you too. Our group is small. You're small. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed. And telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Don't call me small. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. You really think people are ready to hear about me? 
It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. You haven't really been sleeping. Don't start in on that. You've been through a trauma, and you're not taking care of yourself. It counts off, and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. If you don't find anything, I'm just going to assume it's you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the greatest detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I held Mummy back. And Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> gotcha. Everything keeps changing.
Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh, man, come on, man. What? I gotta ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> Must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight there. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Surely. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I was, uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Cool. He just worries about his family. That wasn't so hard, was it, tough guy? I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Well, don't you start now. I, uh, told Ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. Low risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Hey. Find anything? 
I need to tell you something. What is it? I was sent to prison before the plague. You think that's news? I guess I hoped it was. Worse. Did you think that story died with my dad? Anything else? No. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Clint, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. told Lily. You were right. She and Larry spoke, obviously. It went about as well as you would expect. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No, did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See, it's the same. Um, kind of. Oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, <gasps> that'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. How's it going, Ben? Still fine. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. some broken glass on the ground there. 